what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? A 28-year-old South African woman was found hanging from a tree in Johannesburg with multiple stab wounds. Sel Fasapula was also eight months pregnant. Police say she came up missing last week. Family members say the last they knew, she was visiting her boyfriend who was married. And check this out, fam. The wife knew about the affair. What do y'all think happened? Oh, this ain't a hard one at all. Police say they don't have any suspects. Cover up, perhaps? They got to have a suspect. She was last seen visiting her boyfriend, where at least that was her last known intended location. Visiting her boyfriend, who is married to a woman who knew about the affair. How simple would the wife's life be to get rid of the side chick and the baby? How simple would the husband's life be to take the side chick out of the picture? These love triangles They don't work out too well most of the time. Now, a lot of hangings going on lately, fam. In the U.S., we've had three in the last, what, two, three weeks? Three hangings. All black males. Two in California. We're living in some trying times, fam. This does not mean you ball up in a big old ball and cry. This means that you become more vigilant. This means that you strap, get strapped, get you a gun, go to the practice range, and make sure that you get all the training you can get so that if the opportunity comes, where somebody tries you, you can defend yourself and your family. It's first law of nature, self-preservation. Some of you out there are afraid of guns. Would you rather be judged by 12 than carried by six? Some of you are afraid to go to jail. Would you rather be judged by 12 than carried by six? I know my answer. I know it's dangerous out here, but if they're going to get me, boy, it's going to be hard. It's going to be a tough fight. I'm, I'm, I'm busting back. I'm busting. And depending on what the situation is, I might bust first. I got one life to live. You got one life to live. You got to protect it with everything you got. I saw a video today. I actually, I posted a video yesterday of... A woman getting into her car. She was in a parking lot of some type of store or something. And these two guys was casing her. And you know, one was walking like he was walking up. He had a mask on. And the other one was acting like he was getting a basket. And it was on either side of her car. And so one opened the back door of her car and climbed in as she opened the front door. And when he climbed in, I guess... You know, when, she, when, he climbed, uh, when he climbed in, he must have grabbed her and snatched her in because I couldn't see what was happening with her inside of the car or out of sight. You know, I just saw that she came to the car and then there was no movement after that. So I don't know if he pulled a gun on her and forced her into, into the car or he grabbed her or what, but... Next thing I know, the guy who's walking with the basket, he's looking back and he leaves the basket and he walks around to shut the car door. Then he walks back off to look around to see if anybody's watching. 
and then he'd go back to the car, get in and drive off. Get in, drive off. I don't know what the situation is. I don't know who that young woman was, but you got to be careful out there. And this was broad daylight, fam. And somebody on my Instagram just uh, replied that it happened to her right here in Houston the day before. She said that Somebody tried to make a move on her. She said when she saw what was happening, she actually confronted the dude, and then he jumped in the car and rolled out with the other dude. Man, you got to be vigilant. You got one life, fam. You can't take it for granted. You got to be proactive, not reactive. Because if you're reactive, you might get caught slipping. And slippers go. No more talk. What the haters talking about?